Hello and good morning, y'all, and welcome to Fearlift. Now, to my understanding, this is going to be a horror forklift game or something. I don't know how those two things work together, but I guess we're going to find out together. Uh, there's no title screen for this game, so I'm just going to have to go ahead and launch it in just a second. Um, but before I do that, just want to mention that I do have a link to the game in the description if you want to play it yourself. And uh, without further ado, let's have some fun and check out Fearlift. And hopefully the audio is good, we'll see. I'll be out of this dump. Just got a few more hours. Move All a right. few more boxes. Last shift, few more hours, few more boxes. Okay. Pick up fiberglass box. Uh, I'm going to assume it's this green cross here. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. So I know it's Q and E and F for the main controls here. There's a green cross. Okay. So we're just going to keep doing this. Eventually we're going to have to lift some spookies. Or is like the, the horrifying thing working at 9 to 5? Because let me tell you. Shenmue really desensitized me to the whole uh, the whole work in a forklift sort of deal. Not really scared. In fact, I might as well be licensed to forklift after playing that game. Okay. So, grain box. Let's go. Shelf number C13. Nice. I wonder what kind of warehouse this is. It's very organized. Like, everything's evenly spaced. And one person can handle it. Investigate the strange noise. Let's go. What we got? It was a very strange noise. Oh, we just got some boxes. Return boxes to shelf. Okay. There's like occasional dialogue, but I can barely hear it. So if you can barely hear it, it's fine, because this game's blasting in my ears and I can barely hear it. So. But it sounded like he said, who's moving these boxes? Pick up the meat box. Okay, let's go get it. So we got grain boxes, meat boxes, fiberglass boxes. How is this meat even properly stored? Is it like beef jerky? It's gotta be, right? Move meat to shelf K4. Where's shelf K4? So this is K4? Other side. Okay. Don't worry, I got this. I'm a forklift pro, like I said. Shedmu trained me. Right? Investigate straight. More strange noises, dude. What now? Let's go. I'm feeling sufficiently horrified right now. Ooh, there's actually something over here. Hold on. I saw, like, some red peeking through. How do I get over there? You see that? There's, like... There's something going on over there. Is that just... No, oh no, no, that's just like the graphical effects. That's like a little CRT screen effect. Okay. Never mind. False alarm, probably something like another like lockdown box or like um knocked over box rather. Good thing I'm a good driver. I don't even gotta turn the steering wheel. Let's go. Turn boxes to shelf. Maybe they're just hazing me, you know? I am the new guy. Or maybe I'm the old guy and, like, this is like a you're leaving us kind of like haze, you know? Because he did say it was his last shift. But it could also just mean the last shift of the week. You never know. Someone left the Tickle Me Elmo out. Let's go investigate. Let's see what we got. Come on down over here. And we're going to go down over this way. Take good all right. Get out and get a closer look. Okay. Uh, Mary Sauber. Am I supposed to know who that is? Or... We gotta find out. Maybe it's like the Heinz ketchup box. 
Maybe Tom the Tamale Man kind of moved over here? I don't know. Not sure. My, my bet's on Tom. Tom the Tamale Man's always getting himself in trouble. Okay. Something's happening. Get out and investigate the strange noise. Okay. I mean, so far this is compelling enough. Ooh, a door. Accolades Protection Agency? Huh. Let's go. It's a big ass door, or I'm just really small. Huh? Oh, you gotta go kind of far back. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, this is Chris, Phil, Jenna, Jacob, Marty, Angelica, uh, and Francis. Um. Mo, Larry, Curly, uh, Bill, Robert, uh, Jennifer, Alan, Sam, Miranda, uh, Phineas, Albert, and we will say this one is Seth. Anyone else over here? Did I cover them all? Oh, there's so many. Uh, and those are all Dean and Roman. Oh, Got God. it. That's... That's my name. Apparently I'm Sean. Ron, wait, what? Oh my God. Okay, and that... So many of these itch games do the jump scare at the end and they force close the game. So many. I think in the last two weeks, this is probably like the, the fifth one I've done that did that. All right, but I liked I liked the the forklifting and kind of building up to it, but I feel like it really it introduced the Mary thing, and then I kind of got curious and it got the door, and I got curious and the dead bodies, and I was even more curious, and it just kind of ended. And I feel like they could have done like a better like kind of monster to take you out, or like a better ghost to take you out. But I like the concept of like that, like just doing mundane work and having it turn into like into a horror game. There's a few games like this that I kind of kind of have my eye on. That one wasn't bad. That was that was a fun little adventure. Again, like I feel like they could have like stuck the landing, the ending a little bit better, but beyond that, that was pretty cool. So again, I'll have the link to this game in the description if you want to check it out yourself. And that was Fearlift. So thank you all very much for watching. I'll catch you guys again in the next video. Y'all have a lovely day, and as always, toodles, y'all.